Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and on your screen you do see the A Lange und Söhne Saxonia Finn with a very particular beautiful dial made in solid silver, goldstone application, and the color is copper blue. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Those of you being familiar with Watch Advice on YouTube do know, of course, that the watches are the stars here on our channel and this is why you won't see me, but always this beauty. And I can't stop being oh, really emotional when I see this beautiful Lange & Söhne watch. It is a dial, as I just said, made in solid silver and it is coated with an ultra thin layer of shimmering copper blue gold stone. And when you turn the dial in the light, always leads to other parts of the dial to reflect the light. And this gives you the impression to look at the night sky and to see what happens actually these days. It's mid-August and it is when the Earth once again is going through the swift turtle comet, the fragments of it. And these days when you look up in the sky in direction northeast, in the constellation of Perseus. It is something I'm doing every year. And you know that if you are in our area here in Europe, you can perfectly observe that always mid of August, this is the starting point of the legendary Parasite Meteors. It is a spectacular thing you can observe. I've been sitting on the rooftop of my house. I do have flat rooftop and I was sitting up there from midnight until four o'clock in the morning this night observing these incredible, incredible events. The shooting stars, it was countless. I couldn't count them anymore and so spectacular this year because the earth is really passing through the fragments and the fragments are those who are burning in our atmosphere, thereby creating countless shooting stars. So you know what I'm talking about and this is what gave me the idea to make a video about this beautiful watch, this Alange und Söhne with that incredible, beautiful, shimmering copper blue gold stone dial. Whenever you turn it and I try to capture as much reflections as possible coming from that dial so you can observe it. Let me now give you some technical information about the dial. I know I got pretty emotional right now, but this is the moment to do that because this phenomenon in the sky this night, it was so amazing. I'm really still fully loaded with emotions after observing hundreds, I have to say hundreds of shooting stars this night. What you see on your screen is a 39 millimeter white gold case. The thickness of the case is only 6.2 millimeters and A Lange und Söhne uses its thinnest movement they have in production. It is the Kaliber L093.1 in-house manufactured Kaliber has a diameter of 28 millimeters and a thickness or height of 22.9 millimeters, my goodness. This is how it looks like once you turn the watch around. It is a manual wound movement, three quarter main plate, typical way of manufacturing movements in Germany, in Glashütte by Alange and Söhne. The watch or the movement features a power reserve of 72 hours. And yeah, it is a three hertz movement, 21,600 semi oscillations. Also, there are three nice gold chatons visible on the dial. I will point them out with my plastic pointer. Please, guys, this pointer cannot scratch a watch. There's one, two, three gold chatons here. This is the balance wheel oscillating at 21,000. 600 semi oscillations or 3 hertz. And for those being really interested in more technical details, the movement features 21 jewels and is consisting of 167 parts. The watch features a sapphire crystal on both sides and both of the sapphire crystals do have an anti-reflective treatment on both 
sides, on the inner side, and also on the outer side. This should, under normal conditions, enable you to always have an excellent view on this beautiful sparkling dial. And it is, with a camera, not as easy as one might think to really catch these reflections. But once you start turning the dial to the different sides, and once there is enough light on it, you will see hundreds of little reflections coming from that dial. And some of these little points, these little stars that appear on the dial will intensively reflect the light and create some wonderful, wonderful views. In my humble opinion, this is one of the most beautiful watches I have seen for a long time, also as a potential gift for the ones you love the most. Could be a perfect Christmas gift. This is probably also the reason why I'm presenting you the watch already in time. And some of you might now think, hey, but Alexander, this is not a new watch. Of course it is not a new watch. I know it was presented initially in 2020, but I saw it when it was presented at the time being. And until today, I had no chance to get hands on it and to film a video. So I insisted that Lange would send me the watch once they have one to send to me and to give it to me for about a week so I can do a nice video. And this is exactly what I've been doing. It is a coincidence that the watch arrived exactly in that period when the Parasite Meteors are really delivering a spectacular movie every night and I uh, will once again probably sit on the rooftop of my house this night and observe this ah, so, so, so beautiful event in the sky, this magical event with the shooting stars appearing always mid of August. The Saxonia fin comes with a white gold pin buckle. That's all you need on such a watch. There is no need to have any other form of butterfly clasp whatsoever. Keep it simple, keep it beautiful. This is all you need. Nicely engraved the word Lange on it and with this beautiful crocodile strap, it's a fin strap, I have to say, a fragile strap on top. If you are wearing the watch on a daily basis, I would highly recommend you to even take it off when washing the hands because I assume that this beautifully done crocodile strap will be, um, yeah, it's not perfect for water, let's put it that way. It should not get too much in contact with water. But, and this is also interesting. When Lange and Söhne presented the watch, the first thing I said is, yeah, this is the perfect gift for a woman. This is the perfect gift for your girlfriend, your partner, your lifetime partner, whatsoever. It's a perfect gift. But then lots of journalists, lots of retailers, lots of VIPs seeing the watch said, oh, this is a watch a man can wear, could wear, why not? In this case, I do not disagree. Of course not, because it is a super, super, elegant watch you could wear as well on the occasions to wear such a watch. But then I would, yeah, if you do this, probably also recommend you to probably think about fitting the watch with a different strap. I think this pretty fragile, even fragile looking crocodile strap would probably not be the best one. And on top, this shiny surface of it on the man's wrist probably is not, you see here, I'm, I'm reflecting a light coming from behind me and you see that the strap is pretty um, shiny or has a pretty shiny surface when light falls on it. So I would probably go for a more matte blue strap and wear it as a man, but for a woman, it is the perfect combination and size-wise, Look-wise, style-wise, whatever you want to call it, this is just a perfect watch. Showing only the time, there's nothing on it. No date, no small second, no central second. There's no need for such things because what you do when you wear such a watch 
you will continuously play with the dial and you will try to get as much reflections as possible coming back from it and you will be able to discover more and more and more reflections the more you play with it and you will be surprised every day again and again either in sunlight, in artificial light, but you will always see some reflections coming back and this is kind of a magic moment when you look on the Saxonia fin. If I probably was able to attract your attention and you're now saying to yourself, <clears throat> but uh, the lug to lug distance, uh, did Alexander say it? Not yet, but I've been measuring it, of course. So the lug to lug distance from one end to the other end or the entire length of the watch is 45 millimeters and the weight of this white gold case including the strap and the pin buckle is 66 grams so it's a very thin a very light and due to the material also a very decent watch to wear and yeah the beauty is to be found on the dial here and this dial really is magic it is really Ah. Here, once again, a perfect angle where you can see the various little reflections. Um, I'm trying to point out, oh yeah, there are so many little points, stars on that beautiful blue dial. This beautiful dial that is coated with an ultra thin layer of shimmering copper blue gold stone. I just have to say, wow. And now this perfect angle leads to a question I want to pass on to you. Do you agree with me that this is the perfect watch to yeah, be worn on a lady's wrist that looks just gorgeous, whatever she would wear from jeans to the perfect dress whatsoever. She would always look beautiful with such a watch. And the next question is, would you, would you probably wear it? Is it something that a man can wear? Is it wearable for a man? Do you agree with what I have been saying concerning the strap that is a little bit too shiny, maybe if you were wearing it as a man? And yeah, would you wear it? Use the comment section, share your thoughts and do also share some thoughts with me, with us, with the Watch Advisor community if you think that this is the perfect, the perfect gift for a woman, might be for her next anniversary, Christmas, whatsoever. Imagine that you would gift the watch in a night in August when you are watching the Perside meteors these days and when you look up in the night in northeast directions, then you can easily find the Perseus constellation in the sky. You just have to look out for Polaris, the star that is in the north. And if you once found Polaris on your night sky, then just move your head a little bit to the right and then you will tumble on the Perseus constellation. And from there, all these nice appearing shooting stars at night come from. Thanks for watching a video that was, uh, yeah, a particular video, I think, because it is about only the beauty, the beauty, the beauty, but still, if you turn the watch around and if you have a look at this completely twice assembled, you know that Alain Gansone is assembling its movements twice. If you look at this perfect movement, the finest they have actually in production, also from the backside, it is a marvel, it is a beauty, and it is a just wonder, wonder, wonderful movement. Look, this is the balance cock, manually engraved. All of these balance cocks at Alang and Zöne are always manually engraved, and so none of them is equal to the other, and you will always, in a certain way, get your own personalized watch, since it is one watchmaker, completely dismantling and assembling the watch. Thanks for watching, share your thoughts. I'm keen to read your comments, to answer your comments and to get in a nice emotional discussion about a simply stunning, beautiful watch. The Alangion Söhne Saxonia Finn. 
recommend our channel and in case you are considering that this is a cool channel and what we're doing is nice, don't forget also to subscribe to our Instagram channel. We have been relaunching it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.